C4 Labs hooking it up with a Pi Zero case this time. They make some beautiful wood cases for the Pi Zero, the Tinker Board, the Pi 3, and other single board computers. And this one is, again, a great case at a good price range. I think that's a lot what a lot of people say about Pi Zero is, you know, I'm only spending five or $10 on this Pi. You know, I don't want to spend double, triple on the case. So this is right in line with that at price point. It offers a unique wood finish and offers great protection for the Pi Zero as well. So let's check this one out. All right, we got this little tiny Pi Zero. It's so cute, it's easy to step on, easy to forget. Let's give it a little shelter here. Let's give it the Nucleus Plus wood case from C4 Labs. This is exactly how it's gonna come when you order it. These people make some beautiful, beautiful kits. Easy instructions, you don't have to go online to figure out the instructions. Satisfaction guaranteed. Good packaging, great for a gift. And uh, it's in the right price range. For such a cheap computer, you can buy these Pi Zeros for around $10. Sometimes even cheaper. You don't want to spend a ton of money on a case. And C4 Labs, you know, the Pi 3 cases, beautiful, beautiful cases. And, uh, you know, they do the same type of great design and wood uh, accents for their Pi Zero series as well. So you can see here there's about four pieces all together. It is 100% wood. Um, you can see they're asking to start out with the screws underneath. Most of their cases work this way that you build up. And uh, I'm kind of a fan of that. I think it's really easy to do. You know, here I just put the screws in upside down. And I'm just looking at the diagram there. Uh, because you'll see when I flip this, it should be all ready to go, just like the diagram. Let's see if we can get this to drop. Okay, cool. So we now have just like the diagram. Oh, we lost one. We lost two. We lost three. In this step, you actually want the GPIO pins on that wood piece on the left side. So you want to flip this wooden piece 180 degrees to actually line this up correctly. Next, we've got the washers. They're little wooden washers. One, two, three. And I even got one extra. Looks like they throw an extra one just in case you uh, you lose it. Probably a smart idea, especially with me. And then next, you got the little, the next one. Boom. And uh, the last one. Uh, just copy the design there. Um, the bigger groove set out like that. Okay, so that's going to be the last one there. And I think you have some different design here. If you want it to look the other way, if you want it to look like that, you could do that. It doesn't look as good. Um, you could do that. And let's see if we rotate it. If we rotate it the other way, it doesn't look quite right. So you'll know when it's when it's perfect. Um, definitely goes like this, though. There we go. And then lastly, you just get these little uh, tops here and throw those on. And eventually it's gonna get all recessed and compact and put together. All right, so got that all sandwiched up. Let's go ahead and flip this again. All right, we got it, okay. And then we're just gonna do some screwing now. All right, and we're there. There it is, the Nucleus case. A good way to check that this is all lined up is that their slot here is exactly lined up with all the different pieces. Because if it's not, then uh, you don't have it quite set up properly. So there's one side. There's the micro SD slot. You got your ports, HDMI, USB, USB, all ready to go there. And then uh, your camera port on the side. Got the back. You can still potentially access the GPIO pins. And the top, beautiful stuff. Very nice. So there you have it. C4 Labs and Nucleus case. Let me know if you guys got any questions. Links in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.